Hello, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com here with the second video in a series regarding scripting basics for the game Arma 3, uh, doing mission editing for Arma 3. So basically, <clears throat> what we're going to cover here is the execute VM scripting command uh, as a way of discussing passing arguments to script or code. Uh, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the format scripting command as well because we're going to be using that to sort of debug and provide feedback and examples uh, through our hints and side messages and side chat messages and stuff. So let's jump into this a bit. Um, execute VM. First best place to start. Head on over to the uh, scripting command um, reference from Bohemia. Yep, there is that many. So there we go. Scripting commands for Arma 3. Basically, I uh, have just done uh, Control F to do a file, execute VM, exec VM, and then it, it certainly finds it, and then I just open it up in a new window. So it, this tells us a bunch of information about it. So um, it compiles and adds SQS script to the scheduler queue, returns the script handle. We're not going to be talking about the returning. Okay, we're just basically using it to run a script. Um, basically, we are first going to be using the this syntax, or even just this syntax. Um, arguments uh, can be anything, um, and uh, then we just basically call a file name, and then it executes that script. That's all there is really to it. Um, let's get into that. So let's say we had in our mission already, we had, let's bring that up. I'm, t I'm going back and referencing and starting from the uh, add action mission. So we've got a script here called skull action. Um, I think it's already open. There it is. Where the competitor, which was an object in the game, did a side chat message. Hey, talk to me, not my skull buddy. Um, we could create a new script here called my script, which might be a good thing to do. So I'm going to new text document my script. SQF. Yes, and then I'm just going to open it in Notepad plus <clears throat> plus. So. Now, I am, first thing I want to do, let's see, what do we want to do? Um, let's just do a basic hint. Hello YouTube, right? Simple enough. So if I'm in my game, um, I could then call that So, um, I could say, I'm just going to put it in a variable as a handle, because like I said, there's a, a return that comes from the execute uh, VM command or exec VM. Okay. I'm not going to pass uh, a argument to it, but I still need to put in the two square brackets, I believe, exec VM, and it's called my script. There could be differences in the, how I'm doing the syntax, but this works for me. So uh, then I should just get a hint. Hello, YouTube. Okay, so basically I've used that execute VM to call a particular script. Now, if I wanted to, I could pass a variable in here. Let's say I want to just pass, get the distance that I am away from my competitor, right? So player distance competitor and then pass that to my script. Now I'm not going to do that yet. Let's say now I'm going to go straight into actually the format command here as well. So we need to understand the format command. 
Nope. Now that I want to, it's going to do that uh, calculation to calculate the distance between my player unit and the competitor unit and then pass that as a variable to the script. How it does this is when the script is run, the whatever that's like got an internal variable named this when you call a script. This is basically anything you put in that um, square brackets here. So I could put in an array and add more past different things. Um, whatever I wanted. Numbers, right? Strings, Boolean values, it really doesn't matter. So this is just an array of different things. I only have one element in this array and it is going to be a number because distance re returns a number. So the distance between these two objects will be a number. So how this works, make more sense, is let's say I, I'm going to this select zero, which is the first element in that array, is going to return then whatever I passed. Okay, so I want to store it in a in a variable that I'm going to be able to use. So let's say um, distance to pet equals. Now I'm just going to back that up. Basically, that's how I'm going to grab whatever that distance was, and then I want to display it. Now, distance competitor is going to equal whatever was passed to the script, which I know I'm setting it up to be that distance. Now, if I want to display it in a text-based way, or which I do, which is then I wanted to um, make sure that uh, I need to know how to use the format command format command basically works okay and I can have an array of strings that I can just basically put together if I was to go hello and a space and then okay now and then just make this something a variable name uh, that alone basically is going to add those two strings together all right into one string make a new string based on those two so there's another function that this will do as well okay I can there in the format command there is already internal variable types, uh, a sort of a syntax setup, let's say. So let's say I want to um, actually hint uh, some formatted, a formatted string, and I wanted it to say, you are let's say x meters away from the competitor. So what I want to do is instead of using uh, x as my variable, right, what we're going to do is use percent one. That's the variable that's already set up to work with the format command. Now the second element in my array for my format is basically what value I want to be in place of this. So in this case I want distance to competitor. So the script grabbed whatever that distance was from the this select zero from the exact VM command, stored it in this variable. Now I'm going to hint format and do this. I could type in here this select zero. But basically I'm giving you the once over how this stuff can work uh, in bigger scheme. Okay, so then I should get a message saying how far away I am from the competitor every time I run that. Let's go. So it's going to pass it. I am 9.63 meters away from the competitor. 
If I move further away, execute it again, I am 14. Right. And I am one meter away from it. Okay, simple enough. Now, I'm going to abort out of here. I'm going to show you another way to use this. I already set up a trigger. Okay, my trigger is basically just detecting a five meter uh, circle if blue four is present and it will repeat and every time it repeats it's going to call my script but it's going to pass this list select zero. What is the first blue floor playable unit that has activated this trigger? So when you activate this trigger you are in this list. This list is just basically a variable that's connected to uh, a trigger object and every time a trigger object fires whatever are the units that satisfy the conditions of the trigger are stored in an array called this list. So this list select zero is going to be the first unit which is me when I enter this zone and it will then say that. So I just need to alter my script a little bit here and instead of looking for distance I'm going to change this to have a variable name that actually makes sense for what I'm recording um, in trigger. So the unit in the trigger will be this select zero. And then hint format will be trigger has been activated by percent one. and unit in trigger. Save that, go back to my game. Yes, it takes a while to run this mission. I'm not sure why. Okay, so that trigger zone started in between the barrel and the basket. So when I get in there, the trigger has been activated by good guy's uncle. Cool. I don't know if I put a game. I didn't put uh, another game master in here. But if I had was able to get the competitor to move in there, which I should be able to, I should be able to make him join my group. So cursor target, or I could just say competitor. Competitor join, and then group. Player. So that should make him join my group. Two, join group. Ready. And then I can tell him to go there. Um, Two, move up. On the way. Standing by. There we go. The trigger has been activated by competitor. So we have discussed now, uh, getting back to our plan, how to use the execute VM command. Uh, how to pass arguments to it, um, and I should cover again a little more if I had uh, more than one argument, okay? And I'll put this in as if it were a comment, okay? If I had param one and another param parameter, I'm just making this up. And so param three, right? It's an array, and then uh, had sec vm my script dot sqf I am flailing on the keyboard okay then I could get those by obviously going or something equals this select one, right? And I'd be select, this select one would be the second parameter, and so forth. Okay? Um, so you could then use all sorts of different things, and we'll get into that in the ad action. Alright, that's Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. Alright, catch you on the next one.